I recently sewed McCall's 8218 and I am so excited to show you how it turned out. I just wrapped up the sew along for this sewing pattern too and I can't wait for you to see how it all came together. I'm going to be showing you all sorts of angles of the jumpsuit and talking a lot about fit, the fabric I used, pattern instructions, and anything I'll do differently when I make another one. Be sure to like this video so other people will see it, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video. Videos highlighting my makes and sewing pattern reviews go up every Monday. I already have dozens for you to watch if you need a little binge sesh. Check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. It opens in a new tab so you won't lose your place here. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes and basically just come on here to talk about it so I don't annoy the heck out of my friends and family. So I'm glad you found me. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so I can give you a formal welcome. McCall's 8218 is described as a Mrs. Knit Romper and Jumpsuit with Gathered Waist. Views A and B have a tie front. View C has a v-neck and sash. If you watched the sew along, you also know that the bodice is fully lined and the pants have inseam pockets. I made the tie front bodice of A and B with the longer pants length of C. It's the same view the model is wearing, just with the longer pants. Fit-wise, I used my Fast Fit workbook to determine my bust size. The waist on this pattern is irrelevant because you fit the waist with the elastic in the gathered seam. My hip actually fell into a size that was three sizes larger than my bust, but with the six and a half inches of ease that is allowed through the hip, I knew I could size down and would be okay. All of this info was determined by using the workbook. It really does take the guesswork out of picking a size. I've linked it in the description box for you if you want to check it out. When I went to tissue fit the bodice, I was able to address some gaping at the neckline and arm side. I also discovered the bodice was really long. All of this is addressed in episode one of the sew along, but during that process, I didn't give the underarm enough attention. My bodice ended up hanging really low at the side seam under the arm. It was easy enough to take up the shoulder seam and take in the side seam at the upper bodice as sort of a make it work solution, but the right thing to do would be to raise the underarm seam prior to cutting the fabric. In all honesty, I could probably size down in the bodice as well. I did a little bit of measuring for the pants and was pleasantly surprised to see the rise and crotch curve depth were both spot on for me. The curve, like the shape of the curve in the back is a little bit flat, which is what is causing the appearance of a wedgie. That extra fabric has to go somewhere. But it's easy enough for me to remove the excess even after the entire garment is sewn. While I'm at it, I'll probably remove some from the front crotch as well. Man, pants, am I right? If you're thinking about making this jumpsuit and you're worried about fit, just use the Fast Fit workbook and then double check your arm side depth. That will cover a majority of the fit issues. But if you still feel unsure, email me and I'll help you through fitting and making adjustments for your particular body through a virtual consultation. The pattern was super easy to construct and even with the lining, the instructions were clear. The only thing that will confuse you is how you sew the right side of the lining to the wrong side of the overlay. This is so that if the overlay raises up any, the seam allowances of the lining aren't visible. You'll see like the pretty seams. But as you can see from this very professional legitimate test I did, you can't see the lining even when you raise your arms over your head. So in the future, I'll probably just sew the lining in like usual where the lining and overlay seam allowances are facing each other. For the fabric, I used a French terry from Stylemaker Fabrics. It's called Tonal Marble Dye and is made from a blend of polyester, rayon, and spandex. I cannot begin to tell you how soft and cozy this fabric is. I know it's an unconventional choice for a jumpsuit, but if you've been keeping up with the trends, the luxe leisure is where it's at. No more athleisure, now it's into luxe leisure. The exact color of the fabric I used is sold out now, but there are two other colors to choose from, sage and denim. There's also a couple of other dye options. Contrast marble dye comes in melon, olive, and blue colorways, and tonal tie-dye comes in rose, which is what I'm wearing, sage, and charcoal. Even if you aren't going to make this jumpsuit, you should definitely consider this fabric for a matching sweater and short set. That would be so cute. You can also go watch episode zero of the sew along to see five other fabrics that I recommend personally for this pattern. 
But I hope you guys like how it turned out. I know that I did. It is obviously very comfortable. I also think it is very cute. And if you've been holding out on participating in the sew along to see how the jumpsuit turned out, hopefully this was enough motivation for you. And like I said, even if you aren't going to make the jumpsuit, there are a ton of tips and tricks hidden all throughout um, each of the videos of the sew along. So hopefully you will go watch it. But like this video so other people will find it. Subscribe and click the notification bell if you would. Don't forget to check the description box. I have a lot of information down there, including a link to my Fast Fit workbook, the Fast Fit consultation that I mentioned, the pattern is down there, as well as the fabric that I used. And to make things super simple, I have linked the first episode of the Sew Along in the end slate here so you guys can just click that if you're on mobile you can click the link that's in the description box but that is going to do it for me today thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all very soon bye